Hi guys, it's Lily. I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark. And today I'm doing something a little bit different and um, again raw because I don't know how to edit or put up fancy pictures. Um, anyone that would like to enlighten me, um, that would be great because uh, I like seeing photos. So um, what I did is I'm getting ready to pack up all my orders from. Um, these all came in yesterday or yeah well today's Monday morning I ship every day um, because I can I live my post office like a I don't know three four minutes from me and if I just have um, a couple items my carrier will take it um, in the afternoon if if I have more than four or five um, I usually t take them to the post office myself so I um, Saturday, I shipped Saturday, um, of course I don't ship on Sundays, so these orders are from Saturday uh, after about 3 o'clock until through last night, this morning, um, so like a little over 24 hour period, um, and it's a typical weekend for me. <coughs> I sent out um, a bunch of orders on Saturday and so today I'm just going to show you what I got all the orders that I got in yesterday and what I'm sending out today so I'll start with the shoes first um, I've been asked several times how I store my shoes I get these boxes free from the post office they're the shoe boxes and I inventory them by a number and when I ship they don't fit in this box I save the box with the inventory number and reuse it and flip them into another box if they don't fit but these will fit um, anyway I sold these Under Armour men's tennis shoes in really good condition and I sold them for $24 and that was um, a thrifted item for me so less than $5 and I don't have all the numbers I should have probably added up my stuff, but I did not. All right, so I got those. And then I sold a bundle, and in that bundle, I sold these really pretty fry boots. Um, I've had these for a bit. I got them at the end of the season, um, springtime. So I've had them three or four months, and I've been fiddling with the price and everything. I probably should have held on to these, but. Um, I didn't. That sold with this glass and ceramic necklace. I thrifted those so less than five bucks. And this is the glass and ceramic necklace that I got out of thread up a thread up box. So we figured what four dollars on the jewelry. Yeah. So four dollars, say nine dollars for both of these, and I sold the bundle for forty. So, what was that? 32 minus the 9, I still more than doubled. So, um, that's good. And then, I sold this morning, because I've been going back and forth with her for a few days, um, the Tory Birch Flats. Now, these didn't cost me anything. This was the first item in Janet's um, gifted thrift haul that she sent me. Um, I sold them for $45 this morning. So that's it for the shoes. Um, and I know you guys remember this Adriana Papel Hilo dress that I thrifted a couple weeks ago. Um, Again, I did not pay more than $5, and I think I got that actually on the 99 cent day. I'd have to go back and look. But I sold that for $102 last night. I got to get that uh, packed up and to the post office first thing this morning, and then I'll come back and pack up the rest of them, uh, rest of the orders, because she needs it for something for Saturday. So, okay, let's go on to the rest of it. Uh, you guys remember this uh, cute candy corn witch 
costume that I got in a thread up fun box. Well, I let this thing go for $10 last night. And I don't know if I did this on a haul or not, but this was also a thrift for me. It was the brand new Victoria's Secret. That was a dryer sheet, by the way, because I didn't want to wash it because it still had the tags on it. Um, what had the price? Anyway, um, it still had the, it still has the tags on it, so I didn't want to wash it. Um, it was a Victoria's Secret bodysuit and the buffalo plaid, and I sold this for. What did I sell it for? Twenty-two dollars, and I know I didn't pay more than a couple dollars for that. <clears throat> okay, and this is another. Um, this is just a polka dot slip type maxi linen dress that I also thrifted. Um, <clears throat> I believe I also got that for 99 cents and um, it was purchased for $49. <clears throat> this Victoria's Secret bra that I got in a thread up fun box the other day that I'm sure I uploaded that one. Um, it's new with tags. Uh, US was 64.50 retail but it didn't have this is the one that has the multi multi wear straps this is the one that didn't have the strap in the box I'm pretty sure I uploaded that one I might have erased it because it was um, not a good box one of them I erased and didn't upload but anyway she purchased this we went back and forth on this she kept on sending me offers um, and raising it a dollar each time. So I finally um, settled on $13 for this bra that's a beautiful bra. It just doesn't have all the straps, but it could still be worn as a um, strapless bra. And then I sold these Lily Pulitzer jeans. excellent condition there was no pulling they were like brand new what size were they size four um, beautiful pair of jeans I also thrifted these I do think I paid about 550 for these um, and I sold them for $25 which was probably too low but um, that's what it is And last clothing item I have learned to not seal my bags this is what I do when when I'm listing an inventory I put them in bags I have their little inventory number and they go in a bin and I've started not sealing the bags because I'm spending a lot of money on these poly bags I started just taping them so I could reuse them and the number. Um, this I got in a thread up designer box. I don't know if you remember this. This wool. Um, it's the Zadig and Voltaire wool sweater. Um, this sold finally for. 70 something well I don't know where the thing was $77 is what it finally sold for I had it listed for I think 102 maybe 109 huh, I'll have to find that label I don't know where that label went all right and the last three items are handbags so I sold this vintage Dooney and Burke um, and you know me I do not sell the handbags until they are pristine. Um, it does have a crossbody in here. I stuffed it. I shipped them this way. Um, 
so when they get them they can just pull it out and put their stuff in and go so I sold this uni and Burke for $34 And the same person, a few minutes later, went in and bought this cute little coach crossbody, also in pristine condition. And she bought this one for, it's a crossbody body mini, um, for $35. So she bought the Dunienberg for $34, she bought this for $35. Both of these were in um, the thread up. One was in a coach handbag box and one was in the name brand handbag box. So, you know, I didn't make much off of these purses, um, but I made my money back and a little bit. And then the last one, and this is the funniest story. This lady, for a couple weeks, has been sending me an offer on this purse. It's a beautiful coach purse. Um, it's very large, very clean inside and out. She kept sending me <clears throat> offers for $40 over and over. And I couldn't help but maybe think that she was a subscriber on here. Um, but then I looked at her closet and she only had like three items listed and one of them was a coach handbag that she had um, bought from someone else and it was a reposhed item now I don't know I don't know how you guys feel about reposhing items I don't reposh items um, and it seems like everyone uses the same wording and it um, I hate to say it but it annoys the crap out of me um, when I'm reading an item and I see that it's been reposhed and it says ready to rotate for something new BS I hate to say it that way but it irritates me and I move on I will not buy a reposhed item because obviously that person didn't want it for one reason or another I get it it's supposed to be respectful if you reposh an item um, to say that you're reposhing it but just the wording really bothers me and I look at everyone's closet everyone that purchased from me I look at their closet because I give gifts in my orders I want them to have something that they'll use if I can't figure it out to give scarf or a piece of jewelry that's not you know a, an expensive piece of jewelry um, the lady that bought the Adriana Papel dress is going to get an expensive piece of jewelry um, that matches the dress because um, I do that um, but I don't know does that bother you guys it really bothers me it really does bother me um, when I see a reposhed item and then I see that statement uh, it just really bothers me I don't know I'm weird I guess I'm just weird but let me put you on hold and add up um, what my sales were for the day of Sunday um, and then I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so the total of my sales for Sunday um, was $521. Um, the cost of goods was $117, which brings me to $403, and minus the 20% for Poshmark fees, my net was $323. Um, dollars for Sunday so um, that's not bad I did just about close to the same on um, Friday night and Saturday and then I have sales trickle in through the week um, and I think it's because I list I list a lot I share my closet a lot and yes I have been sending offers out to likers I'm getting past that decline button um, I just ignore it um, it bothered me at first you guys know that now they can decline all they want and if I want to say some choice words under my breath I do if not I just usually just move on now because um, it's not about people that are um, negative because um, usually I think that's who 
who hits the decline button, they've got issues in their life and they need to just hit the decline button just because it makes them happy. I don't know. Um, I don't hit the decline button. Um, anyway, I think I did good for, uh, oh, this is for one day, like I said, and this is a typical weekend for me. And now I'm going to spend hours uh, packing up my orders. I can't do pack and ships with you because um, I don't have enough time on my camera to do that. Just a minute. I'll be right with you. Just a minute. So, I don't know. I think it was a good weekend. Um, and it's a good mix of stuff. Most of the items, I think, probably at least 60% of them were items that I thrifted. And the rest of them were from uh, thread up boxes. So... It's not bad. It's a good mix. I'm so I'm happy. So I continue to do both because I sell both. Anyway, I hope you like the video. Sorry that it's uh, <laughs> from like the medieval times, but I don't know how to put pictures up anywhere, and um, I'll figure that out one day. But today's not the day. So I gotta get that dress out, and then I gotta get back here and finish packing everything else up and get it out. I appreciate you watching. And I will talk to you guys next time. Lily out.